Hey guys, so today is Sunday, so that means it's ultrasound day. Ooh. And I'm on cycle day 13, so we're really hoping to see a good scan so we can do trigger the trigger shot. shot. As soon as possible. And then we can do IUI. <laughs> so here we go. Finding his trilaminar, six millimeters. Let's say six point eight millimeters. Okay, this is your right ovary. Beautiful follicle. You can read it yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 43 by 30. By 41 volume of 28. There's actually two here, so that one's a little bit smaller. Wow. So you're saying we'll get twins this cycle? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guaranteed, no, just kidding. Um, there's a 22 millimeter follicle. And then this one is 17 millimeters. So two mature follicles on that side. Wow. Take 30 less than 10. Let's go over to this side. No mature on that side. But that's good, because if we had too yes. many, then we start worrying. But two is, you know, we'll take that. Is that the left one that has nothing? Yes. Yeah. Which one was behind your uterus again? The left one. The left one? Yeah. Uh, this one's not it anymore. Yeah. Yet. Um, left is 33 by 21. By 26 volume of 10. 30 less than 10 on that side too. Yep, so both on this right side, um, but ready for trigger. So I'm gonna take this out. You can go ahead and set up. <coughs> do you have your medicines already? I do, yeah. okay. Okay, perfect. Oops, sorry. Here. All right, I have two. Two. And so the oh, most so likely much. outcome with um, with the pregnancy would be one baby, one. but there is a chance. Of yeah. <laughs> because you do have the two eggs growing. That's okay. We'd be grateful for two, but I think one is preferred right now. That's, <laughs> that's how I feel too. It's, it's great. Um, and so I would say that, um, I would actually say let's do one more day. Let's have you one trigger tomorrow. Okay. Um, which would mean your insemination will be on Wednesday. And I will write that down for you. I called it too. Did you yeah. say that? I said Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe just paying so much attention to these types of things. I've, yeah. You know. You're so I, good. I kind of know now. I'm going to know. Oh. You don't need an ultrasound. <laughs> you can just lay hands. And... <laughs> oh, if you don't get pregnant this time, I'm going to pinpoint it all. Watch. I'm going to map it out. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Me too. And you're planning on using Prometrium too? Yes. It looks like. Okay, perfect. So you will start that the day after the insemination. Perfect. But this does just what we talked about. So off till tomorrow, insemination Wednesday, um, and then Prometrium starting Thursday. Um, and I recommend taking it in the evening, the Prometrium. Okay, it can make you kind of sleepy. Um, and then the prescription bottle, um, it doesn't give us the choice of saying to place it vaginally. Um, it, so you can take it orally, or okay. you can take it vaginally. Um, and if you take it vaginally, you just insert a pill as high as you can into the vagina. Um, okay. That gets more of that progesterone to the uterus where we want it to work, um, but you can have some discharge from it. Okay. Is there one that's better than the other? In terms of the route? Yeah. We recommend taking it vaginally. Okay. Um, just because, again, it does increase the amount of progesterone that gets to the uterus, and that's where we want it to work. Perfect. Um, but if you try it and you don't like it, and you're it's just not working for you, it's not a big deal to switch to taking it orally. Perfect. Okay. All right, well, this looks perfect. I will be hoping for...
for good news. So if you get Perfect. pregnant, let us know. Yes. Okay. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck. So like doubles our chances. Yes. Oh, this IUI work. One of those bad boys gotta go. <laughs> so would we when we check you tomorrow night? Um, it depends on what time our appointment is. So we should make that right now. Yeah. So we're gonna stop by the andrology lab on the way out and we can make that appointment. And then we'll come back on Wednesday. And we gonna make a baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait. This is yeah. really happening. It really, really is. All right. Well, I got to put my pants on. I hate hearing so. those words. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. It's Monday night. We are getting ready for our Avadro shot. Well, Kayleen is. I don't have to do anything other than either help her or watch my wife be in a little pain. Just kidding. It's a very small needle, and we are roughly 36 hours away from our appointment with the doctor for the artificial insemination. So you guys see right there? Keeling's getting ready for this. Oh. Guys, I'm a little nervous. All right. So I wasn't gonna do this on camera because um, I have gained quite a bit of weight since we started fertility treatments. I'm kind of uncomfortable, so no comments about my belly, please. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I think she looks beautiful. Thanks, baby. Okay. Oh, I forgot to prep it first. You have to get all the air out. <laughs> Guys, I told you, I'm nervous. This is why we're not nurses. That is exactly true. All right, I think I may have spilled a little too much. You can do this, babe. You're it's just like a little poke, right? Yep, directly. 90 degree angle. Yep. Oh, babe, you might have to do this. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? Ready, one. I'm so nervous. You can right do now. this, come on. Okay, one, two. Oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> and drop the plunger. Give it a second, you release the skin. Perfect. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I did it. I'm a little bit excited right now. <laughs> oh. See, it wasn't so bad. No, it was more the nerves, because it's like, you see a needle and you're like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> Even a little tiny one like this, like it's not awful, but it's not like the most amazing thing ever. So. Cool, and then safety first. We got our little... Sharps container. Sharps container. I don't know which side it goes in. Well, I'm needle down it. usually. Or... Well, I know, but there's, oh. like, there's like the two holes on it. Oh. So I don't know like which hole to put it in. Gotcha. But it worked. So now we just wait for Thursday. I'll probably take um, a pregnancy test in the morning to make sure it got in my system okay. So the Ovid drill is just like an HCG. And they do it before IUIs because it mimics the LH hormone, which will trigger the egg to release or in my case i have two eggs mm -hmm. so we're gonna have twins oh <laughs> no hopefully we'll have one so we just want a baby if we get two that's just extra icing yeah we'll just have to wait and see how everything goes we're getting a little anxious but it's gonna be good i can't wait hey guys today is wednesday so it's insemination day mm -hmm. we are a little bit excited um, we just left Juan's appointment and it takes about an hour for them to wash the collection and get it ready for me and then um, I go back in for my appointment. So we're going to go get some breakfast. Yeah, because we're kind of hungry a little. <laughs> I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. So we're going to go eat and then we'll come back and then everything's going to go super well. So we're really excited. Yeah. 
Hey guys, so we just got done with the artificial insemination and we're just doing the laying down period that they have you do. <laughs> I mean, that's, it makes patients feel better and I think it makes us feel a little better too. So. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> but everything went well, nothing too bad. Not even close to what the HSG was, so that's pretty comforting. But now we just cross our fingers and hope that everything worked. Yeah, two week wait, we got this. It's, we're probably not gonna wait two weeks. <laughs> Let's be honest. We'll see. But we have to be careful. Yes. So. All right.